Hi guys, welcome back. According to 2019-20 report, 4,200 families lost their homes and life just because of the cylinder blast. This cylinder blast does not occur due to a mechanical error or any chemical reactions. No, nothing. It's just occurring because of the human negligence. And in today's video, we are going to make a project to protect our home from this kind of tragedy. Now before going into the video, if you are new to the channel, just hit the subscribe button and slap the bell icon near to it. Once this is completed, you will be notified whenever we are uploading a video and you can be stay tuned. This is creativecrackers.com channel and I am sure. Let's get started. In this project, we are going to use this MQ06 gas sensor. You can buy this sensor for 100 rupees in local market. In the back side of the sensor, we can see four pins and one potentiometer. The four header pins are for VCC means 5 volt and ground means negative side of the battery, DO digital output and analog output. Now we are not going to use this analog output, but we are going to use the digital output. The potentiometer is for adjusting the sensitivity, we can adjust just by rotating it. Next what we need is a power supply. I have I have been using my old 5V battery charger for this project also. There are two, two wires, the red is for 5V and the black is for ground. Next solid are the two pins to the header pins. Once it's completed, just tape it. Now we are going to solder the buzzer to the sensor. The buzzer has a positive direction which, which indicates that the positive pin in this side. Solder the positive pin to the positive pin of the gas sensor and negative negative pin of the buzzer to the DO pin. The first pin is VCC and the third pin is DO. These are the pins which we are going to soldering. Once the soldering is completed, our project is ready. Now let's grab the power supply and connect it to it. Just insert the header pins gently. The glowing red light indicates our module is working. Now I am using a double side tape to paste it in my kitchen. Try to paste the sensor as near to the stove. Now plug it and see whether the red light is turned on. Now the sensor is working. Now let's test it with the by turning on the gas. Be careful while working with gas because there is small carelessness may face a lot of trouble. Now see the sensor is working fine. 
Just turn on your side. One, two, within two seconds, the sensor detected and just started to give us a noise. That's it, guys. We have successfully completed our project. And I hold I am testing that. If you are using this, if you are cooking, there will be no noise. There will be no detection of gas. If there is any leakage of gas only, the sensor will give the noise. That means our project is 100% working fine. If you want more videos like this, subscribe to our channel and see you soon in another video.